Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. This is Neha. So this is another session today where we are going to practice a simple sequence for the whole body. I am sure you are ready with your mat. So without any further delay, let's get started. First, come to the center of the mat. Keep your both the legs slightly apart from each other. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Close your eyes. Have a gentle smile on your face. Now with one deep breathe in, breathe out. Slowly open your eyes. We will start the session. So as a basic warm up, keep your both the legs slightly apart, little more apart from each other. You are going to interlock your both the elbow with both the hands. Now you are going to lift your hands above the head. So try to hold your both the elbows tight and you are going to create a circle with the help of your upper body. So now as you inhale, lengthen your spine, tuck your tummy in, exhale, bend to the side and bend forward as if you are creating a circle with the help of your stomach. Rotate your belly, rotate your shoulders, give a nice stretch, three times both the sides, two, stretch, 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 feel your breath, three, now same thing opposite side. Stretch your arms up, move your belly, move your spine, the last one and come back to center, slowly drop your hands down. Now from here, you're going to drop your knee down, keep your both the palm forward, both the knees should have one arm distance, from here one arm and one palm distance. Practice how much ever you can try not to over push yourself but you should know that you should not give up just because you feel a bit tired. Now from here three times we are going to do a cat and cow posture, spine in, spine out, spine in, spine out, breathe in breathe out accordingly, last one spine in, and spine out, come back to center. Now the same thing what you did spine in and spine out. So this time we are going to do spine in and when you have to do spine out you are going to come to mountain posture Parvatasan. Don't think keep your palm one step ahead. Now here spine in, hold for a second feel your stretch in your spine, toe tucked in as it is. For spine out, you're going to lift your knee, stretch your spine in. Press your hands towards the floor. Now again, on tip of the toe, drop your knee down, spine in. Spine out, lift, keep stretching your arms. Try dropping your heels down. If your heels doesn't go down, that's fine. Inhale and exhale. Again, move your toe, drop your knee down, spine in. Now from here, once again spine out to Parvatasan. Going forward, again come on your tip of the toe. Now don't drop your knee on the floor. Keep your knee off the floor. See here is knee on the ground. Keep your knee off the mat. Feel your stomach. Now spine in, breathe in. Breathe out, come to Parvatasana. Once again, spine in, knee off the mat, put a pressure on the stomach, hold, come to Parvatasana. Relax your thighs, one more time. Try not to keep your knee too away from the floor or too closer to the floor. Don't go too down, don't go too up. Maintain a good distance where you can feel the pressure. Come to Parvatasan. From here, look forward. Get your both the leg forward. One, two. You, you can see the knee are bent. Don't push your knee too forward. Just try dropping your hand right in front of the foot. Feel a good stretch in your hamstring. From here, inhale, come up. 
both the hands straight next to the ears into Utkatasana. Look down to the toe, you should be able to see your toe very clearly. Don't push your knee forward and try to keep your hands next to the ears, breathe in. Breathe out, slowly drop your hands down. If you can, try to stretch your knee for a second. If you can't, just hold here, okay? So whatever you feel comfortable, if you can keep your hands straight, hamstring straight, do this. But your fingers should be touching the ground. Inhale, look forward, exhale. Drop your palm down, take your leg back, one by one, to full plank. From here, I want you to go down into Chaturanga. If you can't go down through Chaturanga, drop your knee down, chest down. So try to go down and slowly drop your chest down, lift your chest up. If going down in Chaturanga is difficult, you can drop your knee down and chest down. Choose whatever works well for you. From Pujangasan, come to Parvatasan. <sighs> Breathe in. Breathe out, press your spine out towards the ceiling. Now lift your toe up, your upper back is not moving. Lift your toe up, heel up on your toe, move your knee closer to the floor, spine arched. Hold three, two, one. Parvatasan, stretch out. From here, look forward. Get your right leg outside, left leg outside. Come to Malasan. If Malasan, if you're not able to do Malasan, then just try to lift up how much ever you can. You don't really have to go down completely. So choose, if you can go down, go down. If you want to increase the intensity of the postures for your thighs, you can be here, okay? Now from here, drop your hands down in front of the foot. Slowly lift your legs up, not completely. Bend your knee, your stomach, your upper body is resting on the thighs. You can feel in your glutes. Little more down, little more down, little more down. Where your knee and ankle is trying to be in one line. Inhale, exhale. I know your thighs are slightly burning, but just try to feel this. Two, one. Now from here, try if you can. Try to lift, jump back to full plank. If not, from here, take your leg one by one. Come to full plank. Hold. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Gonna go down to chaturanga or knee down, chest down. Hold. Lift your chest up. Keep your chest open. Open up your shoulders, don't squeeze your neck, try to keep your neck relaxed. Tuck your toe in, try to come to Parvatasana here. Take your arch in your back, look forward, spine in, look forward, spine in. The moment you take your spine in, you can feel a lot of extra stretch in your hamstring. Now take your right leg forward and left leg forward. Drop your hands down. Stay here. Try to adjust with the posture. Keep your knees slightly bent. Come to Utkatasana. Inhale and exhale. Feel your stomach and your whole body is slightly warmed up right now. That means you are practicing the posture and you can feel it working. So you just have to continue doing this without taking a break. Exhale, bend forward. Either you be here or you lengthen your hamstrings. So try to open up your chest and spine. Look forward, breathe in, breathe out. Now, either you can jump back or take your leg one by one. I'll give the options to you. From here, come to full plank. Now, bend your knee again. Spine in, hold. This time we're gonna stay for five counts. Quickly let me start. Five, four, three, two, one. 
come to Parvatasan. So when Parvatasan push the floor away, get your chest closer to the thighs and drop your heels down. Keep your knee tucked in, hold. Inhale and exhale. Now slowly come to full plank, get your right leg next to the right palm outside and then left leg next to the left side, left palm outside, lengthen your spine, come to Malasan. We'll stay here for five counts, try not to round your shoulder, open up your chest, you're just going to keep your spine straight. Let's count, five, four. Three, two, one. Drop your hands forward. See, toes are pointing outside. Try to take them a little inside and lift your knee up. So try to keep your knee and ankle in one line. You're going to place your stomach on the thighs. Hold. Five. You can also relax your hands. Four. Three, two, one, drop your palm down. Now prepare yourself down, go down slowly, go down, go down, go down, stay, 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 stay here, three, two, not complete malasa, not off the ground. So in between, two and one, slowly jump back to Parvatasana. Stretch your arms. This posture is to relax your thighs. Inhale and exhale. Bend your knee again, spine in. Five, four. Look up, three, two, and one, lift your chest up, drop your thighs down. <sighs> breathe in, breathe out. Come back to full plank, really slow down. So when you go down, I'm gonna give you count five. So when I finish my count five, you're going to go down to the floor. Till then you have to be, you have to keep going very slowly. One, two, Three, four, five, and inhale, come up, stretch your stomach, look up. Now you can feel that your body has opened up slightly more than when you started the first Bhujangasana in this sequence. I'm sure you would feel it. Let me know in the comments if you feel the exact same thing what I'm telling you right now. Exhale, come to Parvatasan. Spine in, look forward, either you can jump in or you can take your leg one by one to forward. You can decide whatever you feel like. Now place your fingertips, bend your knee a little. So more than bending your knee, I would say push your hip down, lift your hands up straight. Let's start counting five. Four, stay with me, don't give up. You can go down if you want to feel more intense. Three, two, and one. Slowly drop your hands down, keep your knees straight. Now this time, keep your knees straight. It's okay if you have to keep your hands on your knee or your legs, any part of your legs, that's okay. Then keep your knees straight and try to push your spine out. Inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. Now bend your knee, drop your hands down. Take your left leg back. No jumping back on tip of the toe. Open up your chest, look forward. Just your fingertip should touch the ground. All the body weight has been taken by the front thigh and you're gonna hold. Continue to breathe, stay there. Five. Keep your both the shoulders wide. Four. Look forward. 
थ्री टू एंड वन गेट योर लेग फॉरवर्ड फ्रॉम हियर उत्कटासन जस्ट ऑब्जर्व द स्टेट ऑफ योर थाई द मोर यू फील वॉम हॉट पेनफुल इट्स ओके यू कैन गो थ्रू इट ऑल जस्ट यू हैव टू डू इज लाइक होल्ड बिकॉज वंस यू कंप्लीट द सीक्वेंस यू गोइंग टू फील फ्री एनी वेज एक्सहेल बेंड फॉरवर्ड नी स्ट्रेट अदर लेग गोज बैक फ्रंट लेग नाइंटी डिग्री ओपन अप योर चेस्ट कीप योर नी टाइटेंड सो डोंट बेंड इट एंड लूज इन इट ट्राई टू कीप इट टाइट फॉरवर्ड फाइव फोर And one, get your leg forward. Hands forward. Try to see the state of your thighs. Bend your knee up to the cat asan. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale. Bend forward. Straighten up your knee. Now you're going to jump back to full plank. Prepare yourself. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Bend your knee. Lift. Go back to full plank. It's okay if you don't get it right. It's all about giving a try. As far as you try, I'm happy with it. Now hold in full plank. For next five counts, five. Keep your fingers open and shoulders extended. Four. on tip of the toe 3 2 and 1 go down to chaturanga can you hold here if you can hold and then slowly drop it down lift your chest up to bhujangasan this posture would feel slightly better than the previous one again it's helping you to open up your body look up Inhale and exhale. Come to Parvatasan. Stretch your spine in. Knee tighten as much as possible. Press your shoulders towards the floor. Look forward. Get your right leg forward next to the palm. Left leg forward next to the palm. You're gonna go down deeper. Open up your both the knee. try to give a nice stretch to the hip joint in malasan 5 4 and 1 drop your hands down just the finger tips on the ground now with the awareness try to lift your hip up 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 and hold both the hands forward and slowly lift your hands up stay in this posture five go a little more lower if you want to make it more intense three two and one drop it down keep your knee straight take a deep breath in look forward breath out go down hold your ankle adjust and try to go down as much as you can If your knee is hurting or if your hamstrings are tight, you choose. You can choose to be here. Or else, if you think you have little bit more flexibility today, you can just go down. Three, two, hold your big toe now, and slowly go down. Bend your elbow. Last one count. Take a deep breath in. Breath out. Drop your hands down. Now try to jump back. keep your both the fingers together sorry both the hands together you can club your fingers also together now extend your shoulder hold this would be a little challenging but i just wanted to give a try if you are not able to do it do it regular chaturanga or ashtanga i want you to slowly go down and drop your chest down on your hands toe pointing outside palm together palm next to the chest legs together inhale come up 
and exhale. Get your knee together and come to a child posture. Drop your head down. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Get you both the hands to one side, right or left. Slow down your breath. Come back to center. Take it to the other side. Time to relax where you can slow down your breath. Try to release all the stress and the pain from the body. Continue to keep your eyes closed. Come back to center with absolute silence. Try to be in child posture. You can also keep your knees slightly apart from each other. You can fold your hands and drop your head down. Be here. Or if you want to be in Shavasana, you can be in Shavasana too. This is slightly better for today's what I feel. But if you feel like you want to be in Shavasana, you can do that. Drop your head down. Relax your whole body. Now slowly come up. If you are in Shavasana, get your legs together, hands together and slowly turn towards your right side and sit up. If you are in child posture, just you can come out of the posture. Keep your spine straight. I know you must be feeling a bit of sweaty, some of you at least. So either you can wash your face or you just like stay here with me for a few more counts. Keep your hands on the thighs, lift your chin up, close your eyes. Now just try to see the state of your mind and your state of your body. And your breath has become slow by default. That means your body is in relaxing zone. Have a gentle smile on your face. Now slowly get your both the palm together into Namaskara Mudra. Rub your both the palm. Drop it on your eyes. And open your eyes, look into your palm. Thank you so much. I hope you had a good practice. It was a whole body sequence where I'm sure you felt your whole body. If you think it is too short of a video, you can do it just two times because we have just done complete practice here. And try to do a few Surya Namaskaras if you can in the beginning just to keep it as a warm up. And yeah, let me know how do you feel and how was the practice. And if you enjoy practicing with me, don't forget to like the video and drop a comment. And I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much.